Please tell me about your program. What is it called? My program is called the Aboriginal Skills and Employment Training Strategy. What is the age range of your participants and who is your target audience? The age range for my participants are 15 and over and the target audience is Yukon Aboriginal women and those residing in northern BC. What is the aim of your program? Uh, for Aboriginal women to obtain skills uh, and to obtain jobs and maintain employment. What are your learning objectives? Uh, there aren't really learning objectives for this program. We're more here to support people and provide funding. Would you say this program is an example of excellence in Indigenous education? I would say that it helps a lot of Indigenous women uh, to achieve their goals, so it is a good example of what can be done. How would you measure the success of your program? For example, did you notice a change in the participants? Is there an evaluation form? Is there feedback? Uh, yes, we have evaluation forms. Uh, we work closely with the college and educational institutions to ensure that students are on track. And uh, we have a database that we use to track the students further down the road to ensure that they have obtained employment. From your perspective, what is, it, what is Indigenous education? How would you define the word Indigenous? I'd say it means being from the land, um, uh, being on the land, um, gaining knowledge from the land. It's pretty all-encompassing with your environment. Is this a term you would normally use? Yes, this is a term I would use. How would you define education from an Indigenous perspective? I think it would be to um, the ability to learn from a cultural perspective, which would include cultural practices mixed with the Western-style institutions, and the connection with the elders, bringing the elders in to um, assist with the teachings. What is your vision for the future of Indigenous education in your community? Uh, in my community, I come from a very small community, and it is hard to access education. Um, there's a lot of remoteness, and it's the costs as well associated. But I think this is true in most small communities. So I would like to see um, an expansion of services that could be provided in the smaller community. Um, what is your vision for the future of Indigenous education in Canada? I think that we need more Indigenous curriculum, we need more Indigenous uh, instructors, and we also need accessibility through um, funding opportunities.